guys welcome back to 10 minute maths right so this week we're carrying on with addition and we're going to start looking at number bonds to 10 using a variety of representations and we're going to start today with a tens frame right so the words we're using today we used in our last session we're going to use add equals and all together Right, so to join in today, you're going to need a tens frame. Then you're also going to need 10 counters. And they could be absolutely anything. They could be stones, toys, anything, but they need to fit inside your tens frame. And then at the end, you're going to need a dice. Right, so here we go with number bonds to 10. So what's this frame called that we're going to use today? Yeah, it's a tens frame. Why is it called a tens frame? Excellent. It's because when we fill up our tens frame and we put a counter in each square, it equals 10. So when it's full, we know it equals 10. And that's going to help us today when we're doing our number bonds to 10. Right, we're going to have a little practice now. So how many counters are there now? Let's check. There's one, two, three, four, five, all right? So we know that when half of our tens frame is full, it equals five. And today, when we're counting, we're going to be counting on from five, and we've practiced this before. So how many counters do we have now? I see it's speedy counting, so we're counting on from five now. So we can say there are five, six. So we've got six counters. Let's have another go. How many counters do we have now? Remember, we're counting on from five. Right, let's check. There's five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine counters. Good job. Right, here's Betty and Barney. They've been playing with their toy bones and they are everywhere. Betty's got them all over the sofa and Barney's got them on the floor. So how many bones are on the sofa? Can you count them? Right, let's check. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So there are eight bones on the sofa. How many bones are on the floor? Let's check. There's one, two. Right, next question. How many bones are there all together? Can you remember what that word all together means? Yeah, we need to count both groups. No, do you know, I'm going to stop you now because you don't need to start counting from one. I'm going to give you a little clue now. How many bones were there on the sofa? Yeah, there were eight. So do you think we could count on from eight? Yeah, come on then. So we've got eight, nine, ten. So there are ten bones all together. Right, I'm going to show you now what we just did, but I'm going to use a tens frame and I'm going to use some counters. The bones that were on the sofa, I'm going to use red counters. All right, so how many do we have? Yeah, there were eight, okay? So I'm going to put eight red counters into my frame. So I've got five, six, seven, eight. How many bones did Barney have on the floor? Two, good. So I'm gonna put two blue counters in our frame. So we've got one, 
2. So we've got 8 red and 2 blue. How many does it equal all together? Yeah, there's 10 because our tens frame is full. So if we were going to say that as a number sentence, we would say 8 add 2 equals 10. Can you say that? 8 add 2 equals 10. Good job. Right, we're going to try and make our own number sentences now, but they're all going to equal 10 because we're thinking about number bonds to 10. So it says something add something equals 10. So today I'm going to use a dice to create our number sentence. So here we go. Let's roll the dice. Oh, how many have I got? Easy, one. So I'm going to put one red counter into my tens frame. And I'm going to put a number one in my number sentence. Now, I've got to fill up the rest of my tens frame. So I'm going to put blue counters in there. So let's count them in. We've got five, six, seven, eight, nine. So there are nine blue counters. I'm going to put that into my number sentence. So now my number sentence says one add nine equals ten. There you go. We found a number bond to ten. Let's have another go. So we're going to roll the dice again. How many have we got? Yes, yeah, six. Well done. We're subitizing that. Good. So I'm going to put six counters into my frame. Here we go. We've got five, six. What do I need to do now? Excellent. So I'm going to put six up there and I need to put four counters in. So we've got one, two, three, four. Okay, let's add that to our number sentence. So it says add four. So we've got six, add four. What does it equal? How many are there all together? Yeah, ten, because it's a tens frame. It's full. Good. So our number sentence reads six, add four equals 10. Amazing. Let's do one more and I want you to tell me what to do. So let's roll the dice. Right, what number have I got? Okay, what do I need to do? Yep, let's put three into our frame. We've got one, two, three. I'm going to put three up here. Now what do I need to do? Yeah, we need to fill up the rest with our blue counters. So let's count them in. We've got five, six, seven. So I could put my seven in my number sentence. And how many does it equal all together? Good, 10, because it's full. So what does our number sentence read? Excellent, three add seven equals 10. Amazing job. Right, here's your challenge for this week. So, can you find all of the ways to make 10 using a tens frame? Ooh, there's a tricky one for you. Have a good go at that. Then here's your greater depth challenge. Can you remember any of the number bonds without using a tens frame? So can you just remember them in your head? So I know one, I remember from before. I've got three add seven equals 10. So there's a number bond. Then can you write them as a number sentence? Have a go. Right, so see if you can find all of those number bonds to 10. Oh, that's a big challenge, isn't it? And also it's quite tricky just to try and remember them. And that's something you need to learn to be able to do. Mm. Right, that's all we've got time for, guys. But make sure you like, make sure you share, make sure you subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.